Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's divorce and subsequent lawsuits have been filled with as much drama as many of these celebrities' films. During their ongoing defamation lawsuit, it emerged that Amber sent Depp a list of demands when she filed for divorce. Her requests included cash, penthouses, and a specific Range Rover. But before they fought over cars, classic cars actually helped bring the couple together. The Aquaman star actually threatened to publicly serve Depp with a restraining order if he did not continue financially supporting her lifestyle after filing for divorce. Court exhibits from the couple's $100 million defamation trial reveal. Will this new information bring a new twist to the hearing? And just how crazy were the demands? Let's find out. Amber Heard demanded that Johnny Depp allow her to live rent-free in their apartments while he continued to pay the mortgage and utilities in exchange for keeping their increasingly messy divorce out of the media spotlight. That's according to the letter shown in court on Wednesday, May 18th, as evidence in the ongoing defamation trial. The letter sent from Amber's attorney, Samantha Spector, to Depp's lawyer, Laura Wasser, in 2016, after the actress filed for divorce from the Pirate Star, also demanded $125,000 to cover attorney's fees and the exclusive use and possession of a black Range Rover that Depp would continue to make payments for. The letter was entered into evidence as Wasser testified about the details of the divorce. Although Amber is afraid of Johnny, she strongly insists that we do everything possible to keep this personal matter out of the media spotlight, the letter said, before noting that Amber hadn't publicly filed for a restraining order at the time. Her desire to keep things private is also why we did not arrange for Johnny to have been personally served at last night's movie premiere, Amber's attorney wrote. Depp was promoting Alice in Wonderland at the time of the couple's separation. The letter then listed Amber's demands, concluding, We are indeed hopeful that we can swiftly work out mutually acceptable short and long-term solutions outside of the public eye. Depp himself testified in court over four days about their tumultuous relationship and breakup. By the time the divorce was finalized in early 2017, the tattooed actor was on the hook for more than $14 million, according to Edward White, his business manager, who had also testified. The amount included $7 million paid to the Drive Angry actress, as well as $500,000 for her lawyers, taxes, and all the bills for their jointly owned assets, White testified. Amber pledged to split the $7 million between donations to the ACLU and a children's hospital, but an ACLU executive who testified in the hearing said it received only $1.3 million of the promised $3.5 million in her name, and that $500,000 of that money actually came from Elon Musk, who Amber dated following her breakup with Depp. During this let's go our separate ways time, Amber's lawyer assured Depp's lawyer that this ex-wife wanted to do everything possible to keep this personal matter out of the media spotlight and that she wished to work quickly towards a private and amicable resolution of all matters. But the lawyer added that the curvy screen star would need Depp's immediate cooperation to do so or else she would have no alternative but to arrange for the Fantastic Beast star to be personally served with divorce papers. And then the lawyer named a public place where Depp might be served such as at a film premiere. In short, it was a threat. Threats that can only come from an irrational person. According to the letter, this cooperation would include exclusive use and possession of the black Range Rover, the vehicle that she was then using. In addition to the car, Amber's letter asked for exclusive use and possession of three of Depp's LA penthouses and over 100,000 for her divorce lawyers. One thing that originally brought the two stars together was their mutual love of classic cars. Allegedly, Depp's collection includes a 1959 Chevrolet Corvette Roadster. It's the actual car they both drove during a climactic game of chicken in their first film together, The Rum Diary. Amber's prized possession is her 1968 Ford Mustang. She told Jimmy Kimmel that she's had the car for over 12 years. Over that period, it's been stolen three times. The actress revealed that once, the thieves gutted it pretty bad, and she was devastated. The Zombieland actress continued driving the gutted Mustang until it was stolen again. But it turned out that this fourth theft was an elaborate prank concocted by Johnny Depp, Amber's father, and the car show Overhaulin. While the Danish girl star thought her Mustang was missing, it was actually being restored by Chip Foos and upgraded with a white interior and cherry red paint. When the car was finally ready, Depp drove Amber down to the garage. Foos and other members of the show 
posed as cops and pretended to have a report on the stolen classic whip. Once Amber realized that she was on a TV show, Depp and the cast ushered her inside to reveal her freshly restored car. Yet not even such beautiful gestures during their time together stopped Amber from making ungodly demands when things went sour between them. Depp previously said that he stayed in his tumultuous relationship with Amber before she sought a domestic violence restraining order against him because he wanted to try to make it work. While continuing his witness testimony in Fairfax, the 58-year-old global icon said that his ex-wife would strike out at him in her frustration and in her rage. It could begin with a slap, it could begin with a shove, it could begin with throwing a TV remote at my head, he said, alleging that her behavior became constant during their arguments. There was no need for it. Too many lines were crossed. You couldn't see the lines anymore, Depp testified. When asked by his lawyer why he didn't leave Amber at the time of the alleged abuse, Depp, who said he'd learned to pick his battles, had added that it was a complicated answer. He recalled thinking, no one can live like this. Why did I stay? I suppose because my father stayed in his abusive marriage, and I didn't want to fail. I wanted to try to make it work. I thought maybe I could help her. I thought maybe I could bring her around. Because the Amber Heard that I knew for the first year, year and a half, was not this. Suddenly this opponent, it wasn't my girl. She had become my opponent, he said. Depp was previously married to Lorianne Allison from 1983 to 1985 and was in a long-term relationship with actress Vanessa Paradis, who he has two children with, Lily Rose Depp and Jack Depp. Both Depp and his older sister, Christy Dombrowski, have testified about their late mother being abusive in their childhood, including toward their father, who they say did not fight back. After staying in the marriage for years, their father eventually packed his bags and left unannounced one day, Depp said. The actor called his dad, John Sr., now 84, a very kind, quiet, and shy man, and not a confrontational person in any way. The actor continued, and when Betty Sue, my mother, would go off on a tangent toward my father, and of course, in front of the kids, it didn't matter to her. He amazingly remained very stoic, and never as she was rationing him with horrible things, he stood there and just looked at her while she delivered the pain, and he swallowed it. He took it. Depp also testified, saying, Never did I myself reach the point of striking Miss Heard in any way, nor have I ever struck any woman in my life. Following these latest revelations in regard to Amber's crazy demands and treatment of Depp during their short marriage and eventual fall, fans of the Pirates of the Caribbean star have been heckling Amber outside the courthouse. Companies are selling merchandise, branding her a liar. Social media users even express desires to kill her. The public backlash Amber Heard now faces is the very same culture's wrath she wrote about more than three years ago. Supporters of Depp have been seen chasing cars, transporting the actress and her legal team away from the building. Meanwhile, footage shared online showed Amber being booed and heckled by a crowd, with one person heard calling her a w as she left the courthouse. With concerns mounting for Amber's safety as her defense team combs through the case, reports emerged that she hired an elite security team to protect her while at the courthouse building and when traveling to and from the trial. The security detail, many of them former military and government officials working undercover, have been told to be on the lookout for lone wolf supporters trying to gain access to the Fairfax County Circuit Courthouse grounds, vehicles, or entrance to the facility. How will Amber handle all all the bitterness from the public. Isn't it unfortunate that things keep getting worse for her as more revelations emerge? Let's just wait and see how all these end. In our upcoming videos, we'll bring you all the details you need to know as we move into the last stretch of the hearing. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of them.